Hello friends, in this video, let us talk about logic families in digital electronics. The topics that I'm going to cover here is what do you mean by positive logic and what do you mean by negative logic? What are the types of logic families that are available? What are the characteristics of it? What do you mean by noise margin? I'm going to compare various logic families in detail with respect to fan in, fan out, power dissipation, noise margin, figure of merit. First of all, what do you mean by positive logic and what do you mean by negative logic? Now in the case of positive logic, we know that binary is having two set of outputs. One is high and the second one is low. High if I am representing it as 1 and low if I am representing it as 0, it is positive logic. Whereas in the case of negative logic, high means 0, low means 1. Now if I am talking about logic families, broadly it is classified into bipolar logic families and unipolar logic families. In the case of bipolar logic families, we are having saturated logic and unsaturated logic. In unsaturated logic, we know the classifications are short key as well as emitter coupled logic. In short key, it is a metal semiconductor junction. So your transistor will never get into saturation. Hence, it is unsaturated. Even in the case of ECL logic also, the transistor will never get into saturation region. Hence, it falls under unsaturated logic. Whereas all other transistor logic, nothing but RTL, DCTL, I square L, DTL, HTL and TTL, the transistor operates in saturation region, linear region as well as cutoff region. Whereas short key and ECL will operate only in linear region and cutoff region. If I am talking about characteristics of logic family, you need to talk about fan out, you need to talk about fan in. Power dissipation, you are having two variants of power dissipation. One is static power dissipation and the second one is dynamic power dissipation. And the fourth one is propagation delay that is TODI and the fifth one is noise margin. So noise margin how I can define is say suppose one circuit is driving the other circuit. For this circuit this one will be my output. The output of first stage will be driving the second stage nothing but output of first gate will be driving or will be given to the input of the second gate. So VOH greater than VOH here I will be treating it as logic 1 whereas here greater than VIH I am going to treat it as logic 1 and in the first gate that is less than VOL whatever is the value I am going to round off to logic 0 but whereas in the second case less than VIL I am going to round off to logic 0 in between VOH and VOL the logic whatever you are getting is an invalid logic. Between VIH and VIL whatever the values you are getting is an invalid. So noise margin how you can define is the difference between VOH and VIH or the difference between VIL and VOL. In between these two which one is maximum that is noise margin noise margin equals to maximum of nmh comma nml. So if I am talking about a CMOS, CMOS is made up of NMOS transistor as well as PMOS transistors. Pull down network is realized using NMOS transistors and pull up network is realized using PMOS transistors. Whereas in the case of PMOS inverter, you are pull up network you are not going to change, you are going to write the actual logic. In the case of pull down network, you are going to connect or you are going to short circuit it with some resistance. Whereas in the case of NMOS inverter, entire pull up network is replaced by a single depletion mode inverter and the logic you are going to realize over here. Whereas in the case of CMOS, PMOS you are going to place it on the pull up network and NMOS you are going to place it in the pull down network because PMOS is going to allow strong logic 1 and NMOS is going to allow strong logic 0. Hence PMOS is connected between VDD and V out and NMOS is connected between V out and ground. 
if i'm talking about pmos nand gate so nand gate means always in the case of cmos or mos you'll be getting a complemented function and if you want to realize nand gate so two transistors in series two nmos transistors in series will be realizing nand gate always nmos is complement of pmos if nmos is in series in the case of pmos it should be in parallel so this one and this part you are going to club it together and you are going to form cmos nand gate if i want to realize nor gate nor gate means what a and b should be in parallel if this is in if this one is in parallel in the case of pmos it should be in series and in the case of pmos nor gate the entire pull down network is replaced by a pmos transistor which will be turned on with some resistance and in the case of nmos also the entire pull up network is replaced by a single depleted mode nmos transistor whereas in the case of cmos inverter how many inputs are there that many transistors you want at last if you want complement function no need to make use of an inverter if you want an uncomplemented function at that time you are supposed to make use of an inverter at last let us talk about parameters of rtl logic dtl logic standard ttl ecl i square l and cmos if i am talking about noise margin in the case of rtl it is very low i square l also it is very low noise margin is high in the case of cmos and in the case of dtl logic so among these two it is high in the case of cmos fan out is more in the case of cmos nothing but how many logic gates you can drive that determines fan out how many logic gates you can connect that determines fan in fan out is less in the case of rtl logic resistor transistor logic power dissipation it is in the order of milliwatt per gate so that is more in the case of ecl logic because it is fastest logic whereas in the case of cmos and in the case of i square l it is of the order of microwatts because we know that static power dissipation in the case of cmos is zero you will be having only dynamic power dissipation that is fc vdd square basic gates in the case of rtl we are going to make use of nor gates in the case of dtl you are going to make use of nand gates in the case of standard logic you are going to make use of nand gate ecl you are going to make use of or and nor i square l also we are going to make use of nor gates whereas in the case of cmos we are going to make use of nand and nor so universal gates are nand and nor somehow you relate with respect to cmos this is the way you can remember and propagation delay is more in the case of cmos and it is still higher in the case of i square l so in i square l propagation delay is more since ecl offers very high speed propagation delay reduces power delay product that is given as figure of merit it is more in the case of dtl diode transistor logic it is less in the case of cmos logic so the difference between this or they can ask what is the value or they may ask you to arrange in ascending order or descending order so this table is very very important make sure you are going to take a snapshot and then you are going to remember after watching this video please watch the quiz videos on logic families thank you for being on my channel please like the video share this video with your friends and subscribe to my channel training yarn all the best for your competitive exams thank you